video so you go watch it please go <laughs> I put a lot of time into it um, and that's why I was talking about how to monetize your skill and how sometimes your skill just is not enough like you have to know how to do both the technical skill and the business skill but I digress um, right now I see Wayne is here at my place she's one of my very close friends here in Ghana so yeah I asked her I was like hey girl like are we still leaving at seven or are you still asleep? Like, what's up? And she was like, girl, guess we're still leaving at seven. So right now it is currently 7.01. Let me text her actually. Let me text her. So yeah, we're going up the mountains today. Um, she is from Tutu. Well, she's not from Tutu. She lives in Tutu. Uh, she's from the Northeastern part of Ghana, I believe. Yeah. So, we're gonna go there um, and what we're gonna be doing there is picking plants. This is my absolute favorite thing to do um, and why I love it so much is because it's, it's free. Imagine getting all the plants that you get like Ikea or I want some plant store, all the exotic tropical plants, but like in your backyard. Yeah, we just go on a nice 20 minute hike. We're in the freaking jungle and we get the plants we want, and that's like my favorite thing ever. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. So my question to you is, what is your favorite country to travel to? And if you have not yet been out the country, what is your dream country to travel to? I know for me, like I never really grew up having a dream country. Like, I was just like, if I go, I go. And I think the reason why is because I traveled so much when I was younger. It's like, you just go, and then I, it was like, oh, all these places kind of feel the same. When you get to know the people, the vibe is a little bit similar, uh, depending on where you go, obviously. But yeah, where is your dream country? So now that I'm in Africa, uh, my goal for within the next year or a year and a half is to make it to Kenya, Nigeria, South Africa, Zanzibar. Um, I had one more on my list. I am Tanzania. So yeah, I'm excited about that. I just really want to go on a nice little African world tour, if you know what I'm saying. All right, today we'll be rocking this little hat I got. Let's see, ooh. That's cute. I'm really trying to look like a, I don't know, like the cute, a cute little safari in. But we have to go into the safari. We're going to the jungle, but, <laughs> and also, I know last time in my vlog, I disappointed. I really did, I'm so sorry. I promise you guys, I will do you justice. I will get all the scenes. I will show you, I'll show you a lot of Ghana today. I'll even go do some extra fun things, I think. I don't know, we'll see. But I'll try to give you a nice experience because I really disappointed last vlog. It was still good, it was still good, don't get me wrong. But um, yeah, so I think we're good. Let me do a quick little lip, I'm gonna lie. One thing y'all should know about me though, like as you watch my videos, I do, I am into quick makeup. Well, I do love a beat face. I'm not doing the most. And this is the look for today. I need more. And so yeah, this weekend, I gotta go get my nails done. Like, oh my God, and my lashes done. I'm trying to get a little hot girl, you know what I'm saying? But okay, here's the look. Now we're about to go get Asi Wayne. Go out to see Asi Wayne, cause she probably like, Lauren, you always be on me because I'm on Ghana time, now you on Ghana time, because it surely is 7.10, and I said five minutes ago at 7.02. Sorry. Okay, but I'll be back. I'm gonna show you guys our journey to the Trocho, getting some Momo. Um, and then yeah, we're gonna have a great day. I love you, and I'll see you in just a second. 
Okay, so we're now going to the station. I'm, I'm trying to stay low key because me being a little light skin already draw too much attention. So me being light skin with a camera. <sighs> Anyways, we're here with Asia Wayne. Ooh, hold on, this light hitting nice. Anyways, we're going to get some Momo. And yeah, then we'll be headed up to Choo Choo. I'm gonna put my camera away now so it won't get snatched, but I'll see you guys soon. Y'all, these are the worst animals God has ever invented, I swear. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so the like the peep the house is next to it. Yeah, they had very loud, loud chickens that would do nonsense all day long. And I think they ate them or they sold them, but they got baby ones. Yeah, they just got baby ones and they are now learning how to cockle doodle do. And I'm like should I ask them if I should pay, like I would pay a monthly fee if they would never get chickens. I swear to God I would. You, ask you, you, you think the ones at the house are annoying. How many that they had, it was a choir. But guys, we're back in Tutu. This is honestly my favorite place next to the north. I love the north. In rainy season, more specifically. Oh, it's so pretty. I want to go there so bad. So beautiful i would say it's so quiet but the chickens ruin a piece sometimes won't lie but look it's so pretty okay so guys right now we're in tutu um first off the views here never disappoint um yeah i am about to get ready to take a nap but before I did, I just wanted to give you guys a quick recap because a lot of you guys don't even know how I made it to Ghana. I think I'm gonna do like an actual full how I came to Ghana video, just a full recap because I just never did. You know, I've been so busy with business and just self exploration and a whole bunch of stuff, guys. Like it's been a lot. Like I really need to sit down and just reflect on my time here because it's just been go 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 but um yeah i'm gonna be going to the gardens with asia wayne we were gonna go up the mountains to pick some plants but because it's dry season right like you see how her yard is just so beautifully green this is not how it is everywhere like <laughs> it's the only reason why hers is still so nice is because she actually waters them um so when we went up the mountains last time, we were very limited on the plants that we got. And I'll actually put a video um, and some pictures of what it looked like while we were there. Be careful. Where? Okay. <gasps> we hit the jackpot. <laughs> Guys, we hit the jackpot. Help. I see Wayne. It's a praying mantis. Do they bite? What? <laughs> I hate walking this way. I'm sorry. I feel it. Eat your hair. Guys, we hit the jack freaking pot. Are you kidding? I think it's better to get a little one. I hope I don't age. I need to go take a quick nap before. Um, ooh, sorry. What's going on here? What happened? Okay, yeah, I need to go take a quick nap. Um, I stayed up, like I said, till one last night, trying to get everything completed. So, <sighs> about to go inside, sleep, and then once we go to a brie, I'll be back to show you guys around. So that being said, I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Bye. Hey, hold on. Oh, 
No, it. maybe he's just getting it dirty. He he knows it's worth getting. It. No, he's a, uh, it's on his hat, so he wears it even when he's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> wow, my heart breaks. I thought you were different. Out of all the men in the world, you. Oh, I guess we Oh, uh, okay. okay. Like uh, okay. <laughs> We'd have a celebration. Yeah. Mac T. Bread is here. He's painting. He's the most talented painter. What, what do you call construction worker? Builder that I know he does everything like the most amazing man in Ghana. <laughs> yeah, hey, that one. We we packed some paint and things and figures. So I wanted to get them. The storage, yes, the last floor. It's oh. sunscreen. Okay. Okay. Time to go to my favorite, uh, what do we call this place? A restaurant. <laughs> my my mid food is, is avocado tree. But yeah, no, this is my favorite restaurant. It's so crazy. The lady actually hated me for so long. She would charge me so much. Like, oh my gosh, she would give me mean faces in the morning. But then one day I left for a long time and then I came back and she smiled at me. And I was like, if she even said good morning, I said, girl, are we besties or what? So that's where we're going. Asia Wayne is going back home to go deliver the paint. And then, yeah, I'm going to the, I don't even want to call it a restaurant. It's like a shack, but that's okay. But yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like here. Let me go. Okay. Bye. I don't even know what that is. So I'm here and it's not the same people. I don't know where my girl went, but she's not here. And I don't know if they got the food that I want. I think I came a little too late. Honestly, they be busy all day. This is like one of the main food spots. So yeah, I gotta see. So I got my food. Now I'm about to go over to the shop that I would always go to when I was here before. Hi, please. Can I get a Filippo? Filippo. Is it, do you have one that's chilled? Okay, I'll take the cocoa. Cocoa peanut. And then do you have uh, salt popcorn? Salt popcorn. Salt. Salt popcorn. <laughs> How are you? All right, and that is done. So now we're gonna go back over to the house. Um, yeah, I want to bring something up, but I don't want to talk about it here right now just because I don't know who'd be listening. But yeah, something happened while I was at the parents house and yeah I guess it's just like a I want to give you guys some insight as to what just you know a snippet of what it's like living over here you know trying to help out best you can um, because there are some a little bit of downfalls but I think maybe I'll just cover that a little bit later tonight but yeah like I said I do really like this small city vibe because everybody knows everybody um, and then also one of the things I realized because it's such a small city or a town or village, I don't really know what exactly to call Tutu, but everybody is accountable to everybody. So you know, in general, if it's a good town environment, if it's safe, like it's because everybody is holding each other accountable. And that's one thing I really like about Ghana. It's like somebody told me a while back, like, one child is everyone's child so if you see one kid doing something bad your responsibility to your people is to put that child in check so i feel like that's a good way to gauge you know how safe or how good 
a particular area is. And I feel like the more broad or more, hold on. I feel like the more or less close a community is, the more susceptible it is to bad behavior and all those things. But yeah, I'll finish my vlog while I'm talking once I get home. Okay, but like I was saying, um, so I do some volunteer work here in Ghana. Um, and then I also like sponsor companies. I do, I try to get involved as much as I can with my current budget. And I made the mistake, obviously I'm learning as I go, but of telling people. And you know, telling people that I think are closer to me when in reality, like, uh, I don't know. But basically what had happened was, um, this guy I know, older man, he asked me, or he was telling me about his project. He was like, oh, your organization can help me with my project. And I was like, what organization? Like the Peace Foundation? Like, what are you talking about? And he was like, no, your organization where you, you know, help businesses. And I was like, oh, that's not an organization. Like, I mean, yeah, obviously I want to further develop it, but yeah, I was like, that's not a this weird lady. <laughs> Let me run. She can't see me. Why is she following? Maybe she lives here anyways. But yeah, I was like, um, yeah, like I give from my own pockets. It's not an organization. Like I have my business, then I have what I do on the side to give back and help my community. But I'm not like, I'm not a millionaire yet. So I'm not like just out here throwing my money away. I'm still investing. I still have things I'm paying off. I still, good afternoon. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I told him like right now I'm not doing any products. So I was like, yeah, I'm busy. I have a lot of things on my plate. Like when I get free, then maybe I can do it. And so then um, he came back a few minutes later and was like, so what projects are you working on? And I was like, oh, my program. Um, and then Madam Lucy's thing that I've been working on for quite a while. And he was like, he gave me like the dullest, driest face. And then it just made me realize like, keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut. And you just feel like a lot of people are gonna be upset with me because I'm not giving my money. They're like, oh, well you have so much, so give it. I don't, I'm still building myself. Like what? Like it's just, the expectations are crazy. And yeah, like I don't want personal relationships to be ruined because they think they know my finances when I'm literally, I still have to get a house. I still have to do all these investments. I still, I'm still investing my education. Like there's so many things that I'm doing personally that like, I can't just be giving my money to everybody. I'm not Jesus, like I'm not God, you know? So yeah, I'm slowly learning. Actually I've learned, I will no longer be announcing my gives. I will no longer be Meaning like I will showcase what I do, but very like on a very low key scale. Um, but that's not something I wanna boast about. Like what I do is because I genuinely enjoy helping my community, but for clout, absolutely not. And just the stress of having people have random expectations of you and then be mad at you when you don't choose to give to them. Like if I chose to give to every single person in this world, I'd be broke. So, you know, it just doesn't make sense financially for me. And again, I'm not God. Like, I can help as much as I can. If God blesses me, then I will be able to help bless somebody else. But yeah, I just really didn't like that feeling that I got from that experience. So you live and you learn, but this is just a heads up. When you're coming here or anywhere that, you know, they probably are not as fortunate as you, be intentional about how you decide to announce that you're giving and maybe even go through an organization so they won't know it's you because the pressure that people will start to put on you. I still have people who call me every other week in from Paga, um, which is like a village up north right near the border of Burkina Faso. 
still call me. Hey, my wife, she's bored. Um, she wants to start a store. <laughs> she's bored. Anyways, like, yeah. The things I'm trying to invest in are more along the lines of businesses. And there's a lot of companies who, or organizations who can invest in more of like the eco and all those things like just things that they're interested in but for me my main goal is helping businesses so again you live and you learn every day but today was definitely a learning experience for sure but we're about to go eat get this food to Asia Wayne and then we're gonna be heading to a breed to get some plants so I'll see you guys in a bit time to eat Here's my, is this consumer stew? Mm, but it's not, yeah, it's not yeah, it's nice. Oh. Are you sure I don't want to put in a plate? Should I? Yeah, yeah. take a bowl from. It's okay. Uh. <laughs> uh. But I should wash my hands. No, I'm hungry. Actually, I'm not about to do all that. I'm just about to eat from the bag. You know what, I won't touch it. I won't pick it. Yeah. You do it. Once I eat these, I'll take this and dip it. They season these different. These are great. Wow. My favorite store. Favorite restaurant. In Ghana. <laughs> so what is fun? <laughs> Life is fun. <clears throat> okay guys, so today. <laughs> Today we're gonna be drinking cocoa. Today we're drinking cocoa. This is How's a. How's that cocoa? Huh? The cocoa is very chilled, meaning cold. I put it in the freezer. Most people here, actually everyone here, eats it hot. But one day when me, Asia Wayne, and Yao went up north, I got cocoa, but then I got full. So I put it in the freezer and I came back for it and it was so good. So this is one thing that Ghanaians are missing out. So if you're Ghanaian and you're watching this, <laughs> make sure you try your cocoa cold. Anyways, so yeah, what is this made out of? It's not millet. Mm -hmm. This is a millet. Oh, it's just not the up north millet? It's millet. So what was we talking about earlier? <laughs> what, why'd you say it's different? It's low quality. So they put, they use little of it. Oh, and then something, mm -hmm. what, more water? Yes. Oh, is this more, is this more millet or more water? So this might be, so I mean, there's millet in it, but it might not be as, like, Millet. Okay, thanks. As the one in the normal. Okay. So yeah, this is millet, and then they put some, they definitely put some, um, ginger in it. What else? They put some Close. sugar. Oh yeah, cloves. So you start off, you write it like this. Oh. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. I think I'm full. Ooh. I need this every day. And this will fill me up for two meals. Is it healthy to eat this? Just this. Oh, it's healthy. Man, it's healthy. Mm. It's an indigenous drink. Mm. Okay guys, so we are here at the plant place and we, look at this, look at this. Hold on, let me just turn it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These are so cute. You said Arama has which ones? She has some of them on the stereo at her house. It's so cute. Inside or outside? Inside. And then she has Oh, the other some the baby ones here. I don't want small ones there. What the? I need to close my window. Which one? These rocks. Okay, let's see how much these are. Okay, so we'll ask the man the price. And oh, my earrings, I left them on your bed. Uh-uh, I'm going back. Oh. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Those ones I wear every day. What time do the kids usually get out of school? Okay. So we checked out the first plant sites, but now we're walking to the garden. That one it was a bit pricey, not gonna lie. Said a hundred dollars for I mean a <laughs> hundred CDs for some monstera baby ones. Oh well oh we got 40 and 100. So hopefully, if we come to the gardens, we'll be able to find some better prices. And then if not, we're out of luck. Anyways, we'll be back. My camera's about to die. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Are we going in here? We're in the desert. All right. How is your tummy still rumbling? <sighs> I see. We're taking the scenic route. It's about to rain. I don't know how. It's a bright and sunny day. Like, and there's no clouds for real. Look at this. Like, the thunder is thundering. I'm about to get a nice tan. I'm making up for all the days I've been in the house. The holo. <laughs> Whoa. This is wild. Girl, what the fuck? Whoa. What the? Those small ones that keep this when they get good soil. This one. What is this? This one, that's it. Oh, wow. As it goes up, it opens. Yeah. So you see the lower part has small leaves. Yeah. That's wild. Invasive species. We have made it to the other plant nursery. I want some money trees. That's not bad. I think as it grows, they keep weaving it. Mm. So it looks like tiny. Oh, it puts it. Oh, they braid it. Yeah, they braid it. So many options. I know for sure I'm getting a money tree. Um, I got two pots that I know for sure I need to. Oh, hold up. These are cute. These are cute. What's this called? What are these called? I've forgotten it. I have some of these. They just keep growing this way. I have one, but it's not doing so well, and I want more. Yeah, I want to get one of these too. Oh, he's coming. He has our bags. Do you sell pots? Do you sell pots? Sorry, pots. <laughs> Sorry, the accent. <laughs> so we can learn each other's accents. <laughs> okay, I'll go slow. I'll go slow. I'll calm down. <laughs> so well. Do you want to I said the orange goes so well with the plants. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so... Please, I need a picture in a minute. Ah, this is so... 
This inspires me to shop. <laughs> So my camera officially died, but I've gotten my couple plants. Here's where we are right now. Very pretty. Um, so yeah, after I get these plants, I do have two plants that I need to take out of the pots. I have a plant that I need to take out of the pot, one of my snake plants. Um, and then I have a uh, free pot in the on the patio. Then I'll just have to get one more and then I'll be able to plant everything. So yeah, I'm excited. And then this building is just so pretty. The yellow or this orangish color with all the plants makes me weak in the knees. But yeah, I feel like this vlog is really long. I did, compared to vlog number one, I really did that y'all. I really did it and I hope so far you're enjoying it, but I'm gonna leave now, we got our plans, we're about to get ready to go. Um, and then yeah, I'll wrap up and I'll let you guys know how the rest of the day went. when we took a nap so we're gonna get help we're borrowing <laughs> we'll borrowing our stuff to the taxi up front and then yeah but it's pretty i thought it was gonna rain it was thundering but yeah now we're all good but that is nice all right let's go a cotton tree The married Henry. Yeah. <laughs> Henry what? Look at his back. Look at the back. Let me see. Look, look at the thing at the back. Explicit raw to the core. <gasps> Henry! <Pasta. laughs> Reverend. Oh my god. What is it? In full working Explicit order. Raw to the core. Offending people since. Uh, uh, oh my god. Raw to the core. Offending people since 2001. Wow. Hey. Wayne got us these tree berries. Oh, let me get you picking it. I see they are very sweet. They fly so you don't want to eat them. Are they sweet? What the heck? Okay, let me get a new one. I touched all over this. Is this okay to eat? <laughs> have this one. Have this one. Okay. How did you know to eat this? I don't know. I was going up to eat them. Yeah. Tastes like plants. <laughs> it tastes exactly how I thought a plant would taste. <laughs> oh my god, it's bitter. My mouth tastes. It's sour. But when you eat more than one, no, it's a, it's a chew. It's sweet. So I eat the seed? No, no, throw the seed out. Oh, it was a bag. I pray I don't die. <laughs> yeah, this is a truck. <laughs> she feeding it to me like candy. Just eat it. I am on one. Miss Street. Who thought of this? <laughs> what? Okay, what's the name? Why it ain't in the market? So shouldn't it be exclusive fruit? It's like one more this morning. It, is, it was in our school. <laughs> and I just was, decided to eat it. After after when we go out and break, we'll hunt them. What if this was poisonous? Mm -hmm. What if this I wasn't? Died <laughs> at 15 years ago. Um, what? Are these plants? What? Oh yeah. That's so big. I didn't realize they grew so big. So what's up with the tiny ones? Why they only stay that big? Is it just because they're in pots? I don't know. The ones I see all the time, the one that was in my room. Oh. Limited environments. Hmm. They won't 
bro. Be on there, my friends. Guys, I'm home like two hours later. I'm. This was such a long day. I had to go to Palace Mall to get some groceries. I had to walk so far. The Trotro wouldn't let me off at the right place, so I had to go all the way back to the station, then walk all the way back, and then I had to, I walked so far with all these heavy things. Like my backpack, y'all, I swear I lost, I probably lost like three pounds, four, maybe even five pounds today. I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, so yeah, I had to walk all the way, find a taxi. I don't know where they were. Finally found one. It took me to Palace Mall. I had to go get some groceries just so I can have some food for this week because they finally are able to take Momo now since the service is back in Ghana. And yeah, I had to walk up all those stairs to my apartment with all this heavy stuff. But on the bright side, guys, on the bright side, we have plants and Oreos. Ugh, my whole body is so weak. But I'm really proud of myself. I'm not even gonna lie because <clears throat> this is my first vlog that I've gone all the way through. I did it forget midday. I'm gonna post this tonight. I'm gonna edit it tonight. And it's just gonna be a really good vibe. But yeah, so I'm gonna go take a shower, then I'm gonna come back, put all this stuff away, and I'm gonna edit this video. And I'm gonna relax, and maybe I'm gonna call some friends and just, I'm gonna sleep, actually, I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping after I do my work and post all my content. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today. Really, it's been a roller coaster of a day. Like, I've been finding out so many new things. I can't wait to do this voiceover, it's about to be great. And let me know if you made it this far, tell me what your favorite part of this vlog was. See, this is how I know who the true, my true peoples are, my true best friends are, bestie, because you really made it this far. So thank you actually for watching all of this. I hope it was entertaining. Please let me know where I should go next, what I should do, what are some cool things you would like to see while I'm here in Ghana. There's so much to do. And like I said, I'm very new to vlogging. Like I vlog, vlog on my stories on Instagram. Um, but yeah, like doing a whole video, that's new for me. And then the storytelling aspect too. So it's gonna be something new, and but it's something I really want to master because I want to have at least a couple vlogs come out a month. So we'll see. I'm gonna start working on the skill a little bit more. Um, just so by the end of the year, I'm gonna be a vlog queen. I'm like, Lauren, your vlog. Okay. Lauren, your vlogs are so good. So yeah. But with that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, rest of your night, whatever. I love you so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>